This is a quick introduction into the lab that we are going to do. We are going to explore the code and then see how uh, the AWS code deploy program is organized. So what we are going to build? We are going to have a very few uh, EC2 instances, uh, in fact, two EC2 instances. And in the last lab, we are going to do a hybrid deployment with the help of the laptop. And in these uh, machines, uh, in the EC2 instances, uh, the agent to do the deployment or AWS Core Deploy agent is already installed. But if we are going to do the last lab, where we are going to do a hybrid deployment into the laptop, you need to install that agent. So once you have this in agent installed, uh, we are going to create a pre-production deployment group and then going to write a very simple console application, a .NET Core application. Uh, put that application into Azure repository, kickstart an Azure pipeline. With the help of a built agent, uh, we are going to push the software that we built as a zip file uh, into an S3 bucket. That zip file will have a special uh, file format. Uh, we will explore that one soon. And after we create this zip file, we are going to invoke AWS Code Deploy Agent API or AWS Code Deploy to deploy that software into the deployment group we have defined as pre-production. And as part of this deployment, the software will get installed. In the first part of the lab, we are going to deploy this software only to EC2 environment. And in the subsequent labs, uh, we will understand or learn how to install an agent on your on-premise environment and then do a hybrid deployment. I'm in my development machine. If you go into C development, my donkey application, this is the application that we are going to build and then deploy into different environments using AWS Code Deploy. So let's open this folder using Visual Studio Code. Open Visual Studio Code and then open the folder for my donkey app. So this is the folder that we are going to open. Select the folder. And when you open it, uh, if you go into the Explorer, you can find that there are a couple of files available for you. One is the deployment script. So this could be any arbitrary uh, development scripts. So here I have given some PowerShell scripts. Uh, so one PowerShell script is called PS sample after installation and another one is called PS sample before installation. So what I'm going to do is to execute this before installation PowerShell script uh, prior to installing the application, which in this case is going to create a new directory. And uh, PS sample after installation PowerShell script, I'm going to run after installing the uh, application. You can find that uh, it's just create a, a sample file and then uh, put the date and time into that file where the, uh, we specify to execute these two files are given in the app spec file. So it's an app spec YAML file and you can find the format of it. Uh, here I have specified the operating system is Windows and I then give the file sources and the destination. Uh, this application, once you compile, it will create a DLL called my donkey app DLL and the destination of this file should be C temp my donkey app. And then there are going to be a runtime config JSON. It should be also in this folder. And I give a bunch of files that needs to be copied into the destination when this uh, application get installed using AWS code deploy. I also define some hooks that says uh, what should happen before installation. In that case, I'm pointing the before installation script to point into this PS sample before installation. And uh, what should be the after installation? I give the relative path to execute this after installation PowerShell script. If you have Windows based uh, line ending for this file, your code deploy deployments are going to fail. So make sure that it ends with uh, the line feed characters instead of line carriage return and line feed. So for example, if you open this uh, uh, file, under C 
view my donkey app, this app spec file from Notepad++. You can find that uh, if you enable these uh, all characters, you can find that line ends with line feed. It's not carriage return and line feed, it's just the line feed character. So make sure that you keep it. Uh, so do not change this file in any other editor. Use uh, Visual Studio Code and I have set the line feed as the line termination. If you look at uh, the program, it's a very simple uh, console application. Just type hello world into the console. And the c project uh, is a very simple .NET Core application. Uh, here I have specified the app spec file and the two uh, PowerShell script should be copied into the build folder uh, when it is getting built. Very simple program. So let's first uh, build this application and run it using the Visual Studio Code itself. Uh, to do that, uh, you can click uh, debug, start debugging. And this will uh, build the application. It will create a debug folder. And you can find that it built the application and ran and you get the message hello world. So the artifact of this build are given in bin directory, debug folder, .NET Core, this is the location it created. You can also build this one using command line if you want. So if you go into my donkey application, copy this, open your command line, type, uh, go to that folder, and then if you type .NET build, and then the current location, the configuration for this build should be release build. So in that case, it's going to build a release build. And this will should create a release build in the release folder. And you can find the release build. The application uh, DLL is mydonkeyapp.dll. That's where the .NET Core has created the executable. So if you go into this folder and then say, for example, .NET, and then give the location of that DLL, my donkey app DLL, it should run and then type the message, hello world. So very simple application. And let's see how we can uh, uh, compile this, package it, and then deploy using code deploy. The location of this directory C do my donkey app is already linked with the JIT repository uh, of Azure Do Observer. So you can find that it points into default collection my donkey app project. So if you go into your Azure Do Observer uh, in this location and select my donkey application, the repository is given here. You can find the code is already committed. So instead of using this uh, hello world message, Let's put our own message. So if you go into uh, this program file, uh, so it's say hello world. So instead of that, let's say hello world one, two, three. So everything looks good. Uh, I made a modification into this one. So let's make these uh, changes and then commit into the repository. Uh, let's call it my uh, change message one, version one. So I save it and then I'm going to push it. If you go into Azure Do Observer, uh, select the My Donkey application and go into repositories, you can find that program file is here and the change uh, has been reflected in the repository. So what we are going to do next is uh, build this program in the build machine instead of building it in our development machine. And we are going to create some pipelines to do that. So you already have a pipeline. In the next lab session, we are going to study this pipeline and then learn how to publish the software using AWS Code Deploy.